I'll just add one more thing for folks that have been used to using the BX61 Neville microscope, which are what are the differences uh, between them? So there's enough differences that I can't say, oh, you have to do this, this, and this to get the exact same image quality and intensity as on, as on the Neville microscope, but I can provide some general suggestions and observations which will help orient you. Um, so Tonks has a bigger field of view it has smaller pixels by it's about 80% uh, uh, ish of the pixel size of, of Neville, so they're a bit smaller. It has brighter illumination for the blue, green, and far red channels by 5x, 9x, and 5x respectively. So that means if you could go five times brighter than the brightest that you can go um, on the BX61 uh, for the far red, for example. It has weaker illumination for the red channel. So the red channel only has about one fourth of the power of the red illumination on, um, on Neville. Uh, the objectives, the 5X, 20X, and 40X objective, uh, there isn't a 5X on Neville, but there's a 4X, which is sort of similar. These objectives have higher numerical aperture than the ones on Neville. That means they're a little bit brighter and they have a little bit higher resolution. And then finally, the default illumination settings on Tonks are similar to the ND25 settings on Neville. Uh, and so these are the defaults. So the far red is 6 to 6%, 6 the red to 75, the 48 to 4.5, and the, and the blue to 6%. These settings I picked because they're similar to the ND25 uh, settings on Neville. And so they give you a starting point if you're used to doing things uh, on Neville. Uh, so I've tried this if you take an image under these conditions and with the ND25 on Neville of a, the exact same sample in the exact same place with similar exposures um, with the same or similar objectives, you get an image of sort of similar-ish quality. Um, so, you know, th that should be your kind of point of reference if you're, if you're going from uh, one of these systems and, uh, you know, if you're going from the BX61 uh, to Tonks, which is the sort of more typical transition, or even if you go in the other direction, that should give you some sense uh, of where one sits relative to the other.